All right, hi there, Hermie Bacchus, Senior Executive Field Director uh, for your uh, Timmy Lee Quick Video Tips, you guys. And uh, I'm excited about today. I have five things I wanna share on how you become very successful in PFA or any business you actually wanna run. The number one thing that you need to have is this. You gotta enjoy the process. You gotta enjoy the process. And when I say you gotta enjoy the process, that means you gotta love what you do. You gotta like the products, you gotta like the people around you, and you gotta like uh, the, the, growth, the growing process. Anything you do, you wanna be successful, it's not easy. So are you willing to uh, go through the pain of growing in the business? So number one thing that you need to understand is you gotta enjoy this process, it's not easy. But I always realize this, you guys, if you're gonna make $100,000, half a million dollars, a million dollars a year, do you think there's really easy way to do it? Do you know how many people actually go through so many years of training, educate, educating themselves to get the degree, but they're still end up broke? In PFA, as long as you enjoy the process and you're willing to grow every day, you're gonna uh, 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 take that next step, which is having that vision. And when I talk about the vision, number one is enjoying the process. Number two, you gotta have that vision. Now, when I say about the vision, you gotta believe you can achieve it. Because how many people you know, they, they've been dreaming, oh, I want to make $100,000, I want to be this, I want to be that. But because they don't believe they can do it, they never tried it. So in PFA or any business you want to do, is you got to look at your vision. Can you attain it? And the best way to really look at that, if you can attain it, is there anyone in PFA that has attained what you want to accomplish? Because if anything, uh, people do things and they really don't have anyone to look up to. The vision is very unrealistic. And I know we all been taught, hey, have a vision that you know you stretch yourself and it's unrealistic. And to me, you just have to realize that, hey, has anyone attained it? Because if there's someone attained it, more likely you're going to achieve it. So your vision uh, is the second step. Number three, you gotta hold yourself accountable. Now. The challenge up for everyone is accountability, right? The next thing you need to look at is who's holding you accountable. Do you get any help? See, a lot of us do uh, 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 any business. We go into sales. Your number one challenge, you don't even hold yourself accountable. In fact, how many of you say, I, I wanna exercise every day? And then the next day the alarm clock went off, guess what you do? You, you, you snooze it. You snooze it 10 times until you believe that, hey, you're not gonna do it anyway, so why try? Okay, so in PFA and in the business that you're in or whatever business you're in, you need to have somebody holding you accountable. See, PFA, that's a package. That's a package. So you want to hold yourself accountable? We always fail by ourselves, but we have mentors that's willing to hold us accountable. So that's number three. Number four, take massive action. Take massive action. The biggest uh, uh, myth in sales is that your income is always go up and down, always go up and down. The reason why people in sales, your income is going up and down, it's not because of the sales career itself. It's because of individual. Because you know why it's inconsistent, your income? is because you are inconsistent. Taking massive action is key to our success, but consistency is a must. So people that take actions uh, uh, massively, the reason why they don't get results is because they don't even know what the action to take. See, the advantage we have in payfin, the reason why you're going to be successful, because you know exactly what you need to do every day. You, need to, you, 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 you have the plan. You have, we, in fact, in our team, we have a 90-day plan. So number one is you got to be, uh, you got to enjoy the process. Number two, you have to have that vision. Number three, you have to have that accountability. And number four, you take massive action, but you know exactly what, to, what action to take. Number five, stay coachable. Stay coachable. You've heard this before. You become who you listen to. So be careful who you listen to. A lot of people out there offering you uh, the heaven and earth uh, uh, offers and offers you a hard contract. The question you should be asking is this. Hey, what have you accomplished before? You're, you become what your mentor is teaching you. So have they accomplished anything you want to accomplish? Because if not, then you want to find a mentor that really has accomplished something that you want. Do you believe that your 
friend that's making $50,000 can take you to make $100,000? Do you think your friend making $100,000 can take you to half a million dollars? So you got to be careful on who you're following to that, that you're going to be coachable. So stay coachable to the people that can take you to where you want to go. So be careful on that, you guys. So there's five things. You want to be successful in any business, especially in PFA. Again, number one, you got to enjoy the process. Number two, you got to have the vision and the vision that you know you can reach. Number three, you got to stay accountable. Number four, take massive action. Number five, you have to have that mentor that you want to stay coachable with. You want to take to the top. See, for me, the reason why I stay coachable, because uh, although I make 1.6 million today, my mentor make $10 million a year. So I want to get to that level to make $10 million a year. So I want to stay coachable. And by the time I get to $10 million a year, guess what? He probably be at $30 million a year, $50 million a year. I stay coachable to the people I know I want to become. So guys, that's my message for you. Quick video tips. Hermie Bacos signing off until next time.